it's not shut off completely. If it's this style of solenoid with the green label, I'm gonna show you how to simply make it so that it will work properly. So first thing you'll do, this nut is usually finger tight. You don't even need a wrench, just loosen that. You might need a pair of pliers, but it's just gently tightened on so it doesn't vibrate. You have a lock washer, another washer, and a label tag. Just lift the whole thing off, like so. Then you loosen these, and usually they're a little tight at first, but once you get them loose, you can just spin that off. I've already pre-loosened these, so they should spin right off quickly. Um, make sure when you put them back in, you don't cross-thread them. Always put all of the bolts back in, and then tighten them after they're all in place. Otherwise, you could get them cross-threaded. When you get this open, I don't think it matters which way it goes back together. What that means is it doesn't matter which way it goes, but I always put it back exactly the way I found it, so you can do that. So all you do is lift this portion off. Inside, you'll find a small spring right here. This is the spring that's responsible for pushing this back down and closing it off. This is the diaphragm that closes it off. You don't need to worry about that. Just make sure you take this spring and take this piece of metal right here and this spring needs to very closely match the, the, the length of the short side. If it matches the length of the short side, it's the right length. And on all of the ones that don't work, you'll find that this spring is shorter. And to get it to work, all you need to do is grab it with your fingers like this and gently pull it out about this far and then put it back down and see if it matches the length of that. If it does, then you're golden, everything's good. This is actually about one millimeter longer than this. And this came from the factory that way. So that is properly adjusted. I don't need to adjust it. We're gonna go ahead and put that back in. But basically, you're just stretching the spring just enough so that it will push down properly. And then when you put that back together, put all your screws in by finger tight first. And then lock them down with this. and then put this back together. I'm not gonna do it all because you don't have to waste your time watching, but you get the idea. And then when you put this back on, once again, this is about finger tight. It just keeps it from vibrating. It's not necessarily gonna fall off. So that's how you put that back together. And that's it, thank you.